We're Eamon and Beck. And you can usually find us driving around the world in our van or up at our cabin in the woods. <laughs> but this week we're here in the beautiful Bahamas with our new internet friends sailing with Megabot. <laughs> We've moved aboard their 48 foot catamaran to try our hand at boat life. Is it gonna be <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Minus 10 at 4.30 in the morning. It'll be nice to get to some sunshine today. <laughs> you'd think 4 a.m. you'd have the highway to yourself. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Never in Toronto. Meet me out in uptown city where the slope said you want to go downtown. Some blushing on the floor. Hi. Hello, Morning, Black. Bob. Morning, doggos. The key, Jimmy. <laughs> Where are we off to today, folks? <laughs> you don't do much traveling this year, but next year things might change. <laughs> when you get an old, you know, old uh, tricks or don't try to get new dogs or old tricks. <laughs> <laughs> when you get old tricks, it's hard to get new dogs. <laughs> That's what they say. I ain't catching no lights. Um, <laughs> the, the, the channel on it. Sailing La Vagabond. La Vagabond. I'll send you a link. <laughs> water ball? Yeah. Okay, we're checked in. So. Looks to me like people are traveling again. That's exciting. Airport's packed. Oh, but we don't have. No, we need it. We need it. We need to go to these machines. <laughs> this one's me. Okay, yeah. thank you. Oh, sorry, mind. he's with me. <laughs> go ahead. We're not flying until 9:15. We have some time to kill. What time is it? 6:20. <laughs> oh, nothing like a BJ in the morning. That tastes like nothing. Same with yours. Oh, this one's way better than that one. This one sucks. I like my coffee black, no milk and whole but sugar, please. Can't take too much because the jitters just ain't good for me. When clouds are loud, I find it gets so hard to feed my meager needs. We've managed to kill three hours. We're boarding now. First up is a three and a half hour flight from Toronto to NASA. We are heading south. Flying us over to NASA, we do have the pleasure of flying with our captain, Will Fright. Sitting next to him is our first officer, Mark Barber. Around row 22 there, if you want to keep... Wish we brought more snacks. Everybody's hungry. I hope there's lunch here. Thank you guys. Alright, baby. It's hot in the Bahamas. <laughs> I love the Bahamas. A live man in the airport? Are you kidding me? These guys are wicked. This is the most fun I've ever had waiting for customs. That's how we do it here, man. This morning we said goodbye to the boots. This afternoon we say goodbye to the socks. Life is good. I'm gonna subscribe. That's cool. There we are. All right. Thanks, dude. Lunch. What do you get at Wendy's plant-based? Oh, there's cheese on it. 
Apparently due to COVID, a lot of the restaurants here in the airport have closed, so Wendy's was the only option. I am feeling better. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> we were really hungry. Cheeseless salad this time. Okay. Finally early. We've been early all day, what are you talking about? I guess. <laughs> Sharing our lives online it means that we get to connect with people all over the world. And these Aussies and their two little boys, well, they're just no exception. We've been chatting with them for a few years now, but never actually FaceTimed or have met. So this is a big commitment to uh, invite us into their <laughs> 150 square foot boat, because we're gonna be... Together. Pretty confined. <laughs> we're gonna be together. Sorry, but the gum chomping is like, I can't be on camera like that. You'll see, you'll watch it back and not like it very much. Okay, ready? You're still doing it. Throw it out. Throw it out. No. Throw it out. Anybody else? Fiance treat them like a six year old? Is that just me? Somehow late, second boarding call. Wrong We're terminal. In the wrong area. <laughs> so to get to Elena and Riley's catamaran, we have to take this little tiny plane for a 30 minute flight. It's super remote. I'm nervous. <laughs> These planes look small. Thank you. Nice quick safety briefing. <laughs> Like that. Keep it on the low, secrets I'll let go. Ain't nobody gotta know. <laughs> that was epic. That was so beautiful. Now we're looking for two sexy Aussies and a sexy golf cart, they said. This is Elena and Riley. Welcome, Hello. guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Bahamas. Can I one hand that? Oh. Yeah, you can. Yeah, we can. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are going to be fun this week. Tomorrow we're going to have dinner with the sharks. Check in, make a reservation, <laughs> make sure everything's fine. And this is where they hang out. Do you see it even? It's huge. Oh, oh, yeah. Get your heads, everyone. We don't want to get coat hung here. Morning. We're asleep on the boat. Feeling okay. Are you feeling okay? Sort of. <laughs> I'm feeling like this. <sighs> Last night we put the camera down because we had never met these guys, so we spent some time getting to know them. And today, we're gonna put our relationship, our new relationship, to the test. Pretty unique date planned. Sailing, love Edgar, sailing, sailing, love Edgar, bond. Sailing, love Edgar, sailing, sailing, love Edgar, bond. What? Come on, buddy. One of us gets seasick and the other doesn't. Come on, buddy. Take a guess. Let's go have some coffee. So we wanna give you guys a full tour of this boat. So. <gasps> Lenny! Good morning! We're just in the washroom brushing our teeth. Look like a yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Quick swim. Mm. Is it okay? Yep. Bahamas, baby. Well, oh, that's the best way in the world to wake up. <laughs> Make it sweet. We're doing a team workout. The girls have got the tunes going. Lenny's bouncing. Sarah's also a fitness instructor. Yeah, she's, I'm, we're hiring her. As you saw, we invited the sharks over for a little dinner date. So Elena's setting up and we're gonna head over there in just a sec. I hear you're good with sharks. They like you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my best friend. <laughs> okay. Trust me, I have more, much more problem with humans than sharks. Okay. 
Especially Australians, eh? <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so no splashing. Just before I sat down, I stabbed my foot with a seashell, so I am bleeding. Oh, it is bleeding quite a bit. Yeah, no, I know. I'm. I really stopped it. So. <laughs> about five seconds after you get bit. So just wait. Even if you... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to see more of this really relaxing evening, date night, head on over to Elena and Riley's channel. We'll link it up. We want to say a big thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video and ensuring we meet our nutritional needs every single day. We start our mornings with AG1 because we know that one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. And knowing you have that in your back pocket, especially on a travel day when your only lunch option is Wendy's. What do you get at Wendy's plant-based? Well, that's just priceless. Also easily digestible and supports your gut health, immunity, energy and recovery. So essentially you replaced your entire cabinet with one greens powder. It's a prebiotic, probiotic, minerals, vitamins, and a superfood complex. I know you guys have heard us talk about athletic greens before. Athletic greens. Athletic greens. Athletic greens. And I hope this is your push to go out and try it for yourself. Cheers, baby. Athletic Greens is hooking up our community with their immunity bundle, which includes five free travel packs, as well as a year supply of vitamin D, all for free with your first purchase. So click the link in our description box to check it out. These guys are treating us like royalty. Apparently Elena has an entire day planned. So we're going to sail a few hours over to Compass Key. I think there will be some sharks, a bubble bath, and who else knows what she's got up her sleeve. The plan is we are going to a jetty to look at sharks, but there are sharks right here. It's just sharks on sharks in the Bahamas. <laughs> All aboard! Lenny, <laughs> are you coming down, mate? Come on. The girls were asking for a briefing and he says, just don't put your hands in their mouth. Like fish, they will bite, you know. Call them no sharks if they suck like a little baby. They just. <laughs> you get me in, tough guy. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get in with you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Wow, <laughs> 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 this is Feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity and Lenny's gone in, so. <laughs> Can I send here? No. <laughs> Seeing as the boat is going to be our home for the next week, we thought we'd give you a quick tour. Welcome aboard, guys. <laughs> Please, be our guest. So she's a 48 foot Outremer built in France. Elena and I picked it up in 2017. 17. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we. So in here we have the starboard side sail locker. So this is where I keep the light wind sails. This is where we keep the fenders and some of Lenny's toys. He doesn't have many, but what's in what he does have is in here. <laughs> does he know how to get in there? No. 
He doesn't know that they exist. <laughs> Lenny, go back inside. Paw Patrol, Lenny. <laughs> now he's doing the thing. He's having to pee off the boat. Now you're silent. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lenny. We have a life raft here. 400 litres of diesel and 400 litres of water over on this side. We've got a water maker down the back that I'll show you. This is the windlass so that we can anchor. This is also where we entertain people and um, the kids bounce as a trampoline. Kids only though. <laughs> kids only, um, you can't bounce too much because it breaks all the little, it frays the lines. This is the helm station, this is where a lot of the action happens. I can hoist sails, I can tighten lines, loosen lines, I've got my navigation equipment here, I've got some engines, I've got uh, throttles for the engines. This is where I spend a lot of time. Or when there's action happening, this is where it is. I just turned on. <laughs> just turned on the engine. <laughs> so I think a lot of you guys will be interested in our water maker, which is down here. This is the, it's a desolator system. It's a French one. Um, it makes a hundred liters an hour and it's run mostly off our solar panel setup, which is just up there. It's incredible. It uses electricity to pump salt water through a membrane to get drinking water. Essentially? Yeah. yeah. And it, the water tastes pretty good. Like, Come it's, on, it's a miracle. It's amazing. It's better than like water from any tap anywhere in the world. I don't agree. I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. We really but it tastes so. really good. I'm from Canada, bro. We have good water. Yeah, in you do. Yeah, the okay. best. Yeah. Spring water. The, the steering system and the sails most important. And keeping the water out of the boat are the most important things on the sailboat. So this is our dinghy. This is Cunningham the second. Um, she's essentially our car. This is how we get from our boat to shore. Uh, we got a 15 horsepower Honda engine, which is just fast enough for us to get planing, to go spear fishing, free diving, and all of that with all of us in here. So here's another entertainment area. We can sit here for dinner. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. This is the galley, AKA the kitchen. These guys run on propane, so they have an oven and a two burner stove, plus two fridges and heaps of storage. These guys are not very cheap with their power. 2.5 kilowatts of lithium batteries on a 12 volt system. We've got a monster inverter, I think it's 3000 watts, and lots and lots of power. They leave the lights on in the day sometimes. <laughs> not sure why. That's yeah. why the lights are always on. <laughs> yeah, better not get, better not add that in the new boat. It's yeah, yeah, exactly. It's two, two, two point five kilowatts. Oh, so it's double. Yeah. This is an owner's version, so there are two cabins on this side and one on that side with an ensuite. So Elena and Riley don't have to hear us poop or <laughs> smell our poop or any of that good stuff. They still smell it. <laughs> this is where Sarah sleeps. Very, very organized in here. Come across to ours. And this is birth number two, where we've been sleeping. Birth? By the way, birth is just what they told me to say. I think it means bedroom in sailing lingo. Have a look at this. Or you could just do this. Ow. I've done that a few times. Welcome to head number one. We have a toilet, sink, little medicine cabinet with mirror. And shower. shower! They are tight corridors, but very, very livable. All right, owners, you gonna show us your room? Yeah, mate. You go for it. All right. <laughs> this is where the owners live. Very nice. Wow, I haven't even been down here, really. <laughs> Yo. I haven't either, actually. Oh, no, Look at the size of this bathroom. Whoa. <laughs> There's room for karate in here. <laughs> yeah, really, really beautiful. Should we move on to a boat? We are beyond thrilled to call this home for the next week. I highly recommend you guys go check out the world's most daring double date over on Sailing La Vagabond's channel and subscribe to both because I think the adventures are only gonna get better from here. <sighs> Sailing, baby.